What if someone told you that life on Earth was the product of blind, undirected processes? And the notion of purposeful design in nature was destroyed by Darwin's theory in the 19th century. What if explanations for the genius of the animal kingdom were limited to natural selection and errors in the DNA code? And if schools taught that the origin of eagles, whales, and monarch butterflies was once determined by the luck of the draw in a genetic lottery? What if science insisted that the hypothesis of a creator is nothing more than a bedtime story and reality itself is merely random interactions of matter and energy. How would you respond? Could you disagree with confidence and conviction? Now you can. The Design of Life Collection. But when the hummingbird feeds, its tongue undergoes a dramatic transformation. Inside the flower, the tongue extends to make contact with the nectar. When immersed in fluid, the tip splits and the flaps on each fork systematically unfurl. Then as the tongue is withdrawn, the flaps close tightly to seal and capture the nectar for delivery into the bird's mouth. This entire process is executed automatically in less than a 20th of a second, thousands of times a day. From flower to flower to flower to flower, this brilliant iridescent body, there's a kind of jewel-like quality that they have. This exquisite workmanship, the colors and the sound that they make. I think in some respects, the wonder of a hummingbird almost transcends language. And we respond to what we see at a level really you could say deeper than rationality. I mean, it's not irrational, but it's almost like responding to the work of an artist. And at that level, we respond with our soul, with our emotions. What can you say? Words can't do it justice. So you just stand there and applaud. The avian world is a tapestry of both the mysterious and the unexpected. A showcase of behaviors that can surprise, inspire, and fill a human heart with wonder. On a January morning in Southern England, flocks of European starlings depart from the heath where they had roosted throughout the previous night. In an explosion of motion and sound, the birds disperse to the surrounding countryside where they will feed throughout the day. 12 hours later, each will return to take part in one of nature's most spectacular displays. For filmmaker Dylan Winter, starlings have long been a source of fascination and study. I've been a wildlife photographer for probably 30 years now, and I've filmed animal behavior all over the world. But there is really nothing I've seen to match what happens here on Otmore, which is about three miles from my own back door. It just knocks you sideways. It is almost inexplicable, and tonight should be perfect. Perfect. 